Be proactive. Proactivity has a lot to do with a person's circle of influence, what you can control, what you can influence, and what is out of your reach. Proactivity is strongly related to acknowledging your own responsibility and influence. The first big step that has to be taken is the step from dependence to independence. Begin with the end in mind. This is the habit of vision, objectives, and mission. Beginning with the end in mind means that when you make decisions today, you consistently take into consideration what you stand for in general. You determine what you find important in life, what you stand for, what you accomplish. Put first things first. This habit has to do with integrity, discipline, sticking to your agreements. What is life about, and how do you wish to shape your own life? Knowing this, you will get to work proactively while setting the right priorities. The second big step is that of independence. To independence, think win-win. This is the habit of the paradox. Temptation is strong to think in terms of winning or losing or wanting to be right. The trick is to recognize that a paradox provides an opportunity to unite the poles. You can accomplish this by thinking in terms of win-win. In case of conflict, you will always search for solutions that are fair to all parties and in which there are no losers. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Concentrate first on understanding the other person and then put energy into being understood. Synergize the six habit of the seven habits of highly effective people that is required to achieve interdependence is synergizing. This means that your approach is fundamentally based on respect, cooperation, and trust. This is the habit of strengthening. The objective is to find the third path. How can two paradoxes be combined into something better? Sharpen the saw. The last habit is maintenance, which tells you about improving yourself and perseverance by taking plenty of exercise, rest, meditation, etc., you will keep your body, mind, relationships, and spirituality in balance. Thanks for watching.